Hey guys, it is Code Crafter, and here is another project like process video. I will be using the Citrus Twist Kit April 2019, and this will be a two part video because this week is a very long, busy week. Uh, it is a five page, six by 12 layout, but I'm only doing two pages in this video. So, this is the embellishment tray. That cork sticker sheet I want to finish up, that's my goal. Um, there is some other dimensional embellishments I added besides puffies, there's enamels, there's also labels. I also added some extra ephemera for my stash. The middle one is the Citrus Twist uh, kit ephemera and then there's some frames because I want to use some frames in these layouts and of course some washi tape. So here is the two page layout I will be working on. This is back in November 2018. Um, this is a conference that I worked. It was a six day, very long, busy conference I worked called Cap C. And um, the title card here, uh, I actually, it's one of my favorite title cards that I've made in a while. So this tag came in, or came with, excuse me, with the uh, kit and I oh before I forget I also added uh, some everyday project life cards in this because I wanted a little bit more neutral colors in this particular layout because I wanted to use a lot of neutral colors like browns black uh, tan etc so in the ephemera pack came with these days of the week tabs I guess and I wanted to use all of them because I don't know when I'm going to use them so might as well just you know use all of it <laughs> and I like how they're all colorful so I added those behind the tag and um, I also added a little bit of a blue uh, washi tape from Maggie Holmes I think it's from the Flourish collection it's one of my favorite washi tapes that she designed and um, I will be adding some wood veneers, especially uh, I have these push pin wood veneers I've had from Studio Calico for a very long time, maybe like 2016. It was one of the first wood veneers I've had and I just wanted to use all of them. So I thought it'd be really cute to stamp on that uh, extra or on that Sunday tab because you see the white part of it. So I decided to just stamp and hustle because like I said, it was a very busy week and that typewriter, it just fit perfectly. So it, it looks really cute. And in the kit comes with these puffy alphas. I don't particularly like alphas that are different colors. Um, I rather, I, pr I prefer the whole sheet to be the same design or same color, but um, I try to keep the letters the same colors so it just looks better for me. I wish, I don't know what you call, are they called brackets? I think they're called brackets. I wish they were both the same color, either black or white, or I would prefer black, but I decided to use those because I don't know when I'm going to use them. So I already added those push pins. So this is the song of that week. Uh, this is Sarah Geronimo. She is a Filipino singer, uh, one of my favorites. Uh, this song is one of those repeat songs. It's called Sandata, which means weapon in um, Tagalog. And I just love how just, it's one of those songs I definitely recommend you guys checking out and listen to. So this is the drilling card discussing on how much I love that song. And I have these black, uh, circle ephemera, so I added uh, some enamels to that as well. So this is a photo. I thought it's one of my best photos, actually. Um, I'm. We were working in the Rosen Center, yeah, because we have three Rosen hotels, um, and on inter. Well, two of them are International Drive, and one of them is close to International Drive. There's uh, Rosen Shingle Creek, which is my absolute favorite of all the Rosen hotels. It's beautiful. Uh, Rosen Center, I would have to say, is the oldest uh, of the three. And there's also Rosen Plaza. So going on to the second page, this is actually another card that I liked uh, in this layout. Um, there's this, I have a lot of these vellum ephemeras from an old crepe paper collection. 
Um, and I thought that yellow stripe would look really good with this uh, card. And I, I'm so happy I get to finally use this. I, I love that frame, but it's just, it's time to, because <laughs> I have a few frames in my stash. I need to use these frames. I don't use a lot of frames. I don't know why, but um, I'm just glad I got to use one so far in this uh, two part video. So I had some of these tickets that I made from, uh, I don't know if it's a Cartabella paper line or Echo Park, but it was like a family um, collection. And I just love that red and green floral paper and I wanted to make tickets with them. And the, the colors just go well with the whole layout. So I added that uh, floral from the ephemera pack and this ephemera that said the girl who did things was perfect because the lady that's in the stripe, I guess sweater or cardigan, she is the boss of Capsi. Uh, I forgot, I don't think I mentioned, uh, Capsi is actually a conference about palliative care. So it's one of those conferences like I, you know, I. Like I mentioned before, I went to med school for one year in the Philippines, and that was one subject we ne like I never talked about. Um, I didn't even I, I didn't even know what palliative care was till that conference. But I think I'll discuss that more in the next video. So going on, so one of the photos is going to be a, I guess somewhat controversial. I don't know, but I do a journaling card on it because. Not only was Cap C at the Rosen Center, but DeSantis, future governor, or at the time, future governor DeSantis, uh, people were there. <laughs> so I didn't do anything with that photo of DeSantis uh, poster or whatever, because they were there to um, see if, they, if he won the election or not, and he actually did, of course. Uh, we we remembered it was all cheers and it was loud and we were just like oh well I guess we know who won so on the last photo I actually wanted to stamp on this photo but my white stazon was dead I mean it was dried up so I had to throw it out and I had to stamp on a white piece of paper but I actually like how this came out better so I added some orange enamel dots and that's pretty much it for this two-page layout. I actually like how this came out. Um, the colors go so well with each other, and um, uh, some of the photos are great. It's I think it's one of my best uh, layouts with really great photos that I took. So part three, not part three, part two is going to be uh, three pages. So I'll see you next